This isn't exactly the vlogmas content that I thought I would be preparing today, but this is where we are. Why? My daughter volunteered me to help her or help them work on the Nutcracker costumes. So it's five o'clock in the morning. I picked up the costumes yesterday and they have to be finished by 2 p.m. today. So let's see what we can do. Take my hand so we can run away uh, Save our problems for another day yeah. I know in the end will be okay Okay, so here are some of the costumes. So I've got the soldiers and I've got the mice. We've got zippers that need to be replaced. We have Velcro that needs to be added. We've got costumes, costumes, and costumes. So last night I set up a workflow in my iPad. I left the iPad upstairs. Thank God I wrote it down because now it's stored in my brain. So let's get ready. Nothing needs all that much work. I do have a couple of zippers to replace. I think that that's probably the biggest like thing that needs to be done or that might prove to be the hardest or hardest only because I got to take a zipper out then put a new one in. I couldn't find the exact same zippers, um, but oh well, they will do. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do, because I've already cut the elastic, is for these like these little, um, these are the big things that go over the rats, the little tails. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out, they have these little strings inside of here. We're gonna replace this with um, elastic. And I already have my elastics pre-cut. So I'm gonna just go ahead and start off with that. I've got these things that like thread the elastic for me. And so I think I have like six of each of these costumes that I'm going to just, we're just going to get in here and knock this out. Um, but anyone who keeps up with me on socials knows your girl is not really a morning person. I know that I do lives at like 7 a.m., but you know it's 5 o'clock in the morning. The only thing up at this time are my favorite songs. JK, JK, JK. So I've got these. Um, these are quarter inch elastics. Y'all, my cats are going crazy because I have the rat heads here. Because I also have to add. Um, I've got to add some stuff to those as well. And the cats are over here going crazy. So just like this. Just going to thread this through. I do need to turn my machine on so that I can just go ahead and like add but for now I'm just gonna go ahead and literally stick a pin in it <laughs> sorry that was like an early morning funny so putting that pin in there I probably should have put the pin in differently but this is where we are hey the cats are in here again going crazy Okay, and so essentially what was we were supposed to be doing before was like physically tying a string so that it was like in the correct place. But now it's elasticized. So when they just kind of use their little hook and eyes, tiny hook and eyes, then um, they don't even have to worry about tightening this up. And I was like, I think that that will be better. So now I'm going to go ahead and do that for the rest of them. I do have to change out the thread in my machine because I still have like my multicolor thread that I was working with our Dino Chicken Nuggies. And so we're going to go ahead and change that thread out. And we're going to stitch that into place and that is going to be done. Just going to repeat that a couple more times. Okay, so it's now 6.15 and I have finished... Um, putting in all the elastics and sewing those down to those uh the outside rat costume pieces and now I'm seam ripping all of these like little bodysuit situations because the zippers are broken so I have to replace zippers in about five little rat bodies and then I have to this one 
yeah when she put this one on she looked like a little flying squirrel because of this they added gussets on the sides and the person who's wearing it now does not need them so i'm gonna also take this in i also had to redo some of the elastic casings for the um for the first things that i did which were the rat like outer bodies which were like super poofy um and again we're now an hour in i also forgot the minor detail about the fact that i really need to be done by noon because I've got to reshoot some of my spring uh, Nomi photos. Um, I, did, I did not like how they, I, so in theory, or rather like in the overarching thing, they look beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But I need some more full body shots. My daughter did my photos and, um, and not that she didn't do a great job. She did do an excellent job, but she didn't get, like pictures of me that included my feet so uh, I've got to retake those now I'm trying to debate on whether or not I can just pick her up from school and like be there at like two o'clock pick like pick her up early drop these costumes off and stuff like that and do my photos that way um so that way I can just pick her up she's got to be at practice at 3 30 I have to pick up my son at by 320 so it'll be super fun and then I gotta go pick my daughter up actually and I can't pull her out of her her little practice today because my middle child also performs on Saturday at two o'clock so she has to be at this practice um but she's got to be picked up at four o'clock so I'm hoping that if I just drop off these costumes and then go pick her up everything will be fine so <laughs> say a little prayer for me okay so it is just about seven o'clock and I just finished taking out all of the zippers for the um the bodysuits that we have to replace the zippers for that took about 45 minutes to get done these are all of the zippers and now I did actually try to see if I could repair them and reattach or rather make it so that the um the zipper pulls excuse me were still working but nothing none of my tricks of the trade were working so seam ripped them out i did ask my husband to bring down my ipad because in my haste of getting downstairs and getting started i forgot my ipad upstairs so since we're at it we're at a little breaky break because I'm about to make some coffee. I'm going to show you all what this looks like for me as far as my notes. And then I'm going to go ahead and kind of update what I have done. So that way I can get that dopamine rush, you know? Okay, so these are the edits that I needed to get done. So far in full, I have um, taken in this one. I have fixed this elastic. I have added the elastic to the hooks. I have taken out all of the zippers on the bodysuits. So I have to just add all the zippers in and then add the Velcro and hook and eye to the hats. The adding the hook and eye, so all of the hand sewing that I need to get done is going to be last, literally the last thing that I do. So um, I'm going to go and make some coffee. When I'm done making coffee, I'm going to be fixing these zippers. I'm going to go ahead and add those zippers there. And then what I would really like to do is um, on the body, like on the puffy things that I did first where I added the elastic, I do think that those actually need a at least one piece of Velcro. So I do think I'm going to add some Velcro there as well. Then I'm going to, the quickest fix for the soldiers is going to be fixing these seams on the pants. Literally, I'm just going to go ahead and pop um, some white thread. I think I already have white thread in my serger in and just go ahead and hit those with very simple straight seams there. Um, and then I need to just add some Velcro to the jackets. I plan on adding just an inch of felt so that, that way I can have some overlap. Um, and I do have red felt 
Um, and I feel like I will be able to add that without needing some stabilizer in order for it to be thick enough. And then I'm going to have to add in a hem slip to these sleeves. But before I do that, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and work on the corsets. I have two corsets that, that I need to add an additional line of lines of eyes to because we've got the hooks on there, but we can't make permanent changes to this um to the corsets and i'll show you guys the corsets in a second so i'm just going to sew in a line of um the hooks i have a bunch of hook and eyes i'm going to just sew in because i've got it on tape and i'm just going to sew that in so but coffee first so i am i've done two zipper installs it's now like seven something i have my coffee and it's funny because, and just sharing thoughts as I sew these zippers in, what's wild is I did, I've done one, essentially worked on one costume set. And I was like, you know what? I really like this. I could do this. Um, But I didn't just, listen, you know what they say? Um, oh, got some, got some stuff stuck in my machine. But you know what they say is, um, be careful what you wish for, of course, but be more specific about what you pray for. This year has been, and I've, I've said this time and time again, this year has been the most transformational year of my life. Um, and that's saying a lot because in 2009, I lost my job. I became pregnant after being told I couldn't have kids. Um, I lost my home and that was the kickoff to my new life, but um, uh, this year, uh, I lost two boobs <laughs> and I have also created my first fabrics. I have a collection of threads. I am, uh, like a designer of patterns and clothing. And you know, what's so crazy is that, um, as, as hard as this year has been, it's been equally amount as blessed because, again, I would have never thought that this is something that I would have enjoyed. But um, I do. And as I prepare for 2024, I'm really reflecting on a lot of these experiences and what they've afforded my mindset, right? And how they've, in essence, changed how I'm thinking about sewing, about, you know, teaching, about all of these things. And, um, yeah, it's just really just wild, in my opinion, because, you know, you got to be really intentional about what you put out into the universe. Because I had been talking to my oldest about, you know, costume design. In fact, I had actually approached her school not this year, but like maybe a little over a year ago, it was like, hey, I think that we should start an after school sewing club, which I would love to be, you know, I would love to be the facilitator of and I would love to come in and teach the kids sewing and, you know, we could go from there. And my idea was shut down. Um, of course, now, in hindsight, I'm sure they wish that they had been like oh yes miss school that's a great idea i digress but a year later now i feel like if i were to say to them hey i really feel like we need to have a class uh, on this i feel like i would be better in a better position um to tackle that right or to even make that suggestion which i think is really really cool and i'm super excited about um, why? Because uh, it gives me the opportunity, of course, to really continue to grow, which for me is the main thing. Um, and it gives me the opportunity to continue to develop. But it also gives me and affords me the opportunity to help other people do the same thing, right? Um, and y'all, that is so exciting to me. So very exciting to me. Um so yeah, I'm going to go ahead, finish putting these zippers in. Of course, I will continue to check in. I think that the, the these rat costumes are the most time consuming because there are like three pieces that need to be edited and updated and stuff. But we're knocking it out. We're getting it done. 
So yeah, so we just finished uh, putting in one side of this zipper. We're gonna put in the other and we're more than halfway done with reinstalling zippers, which of course we know is the longest part. And it was, honestly, it's really the, only the longest part because I had to seam rip and then put in the zipper. I was not able to get a zipper that matched the exact color, but this gray matches the gray on the costume. And oh, and here's a very quick trip on how like if you've got to line up seams and you're doing it with a zipper. So I will always, and some people do this on both sides, some people don't, but what I will do is I will go ahead and find that seam that I need to line it up with, fold this over, and then this is one of those heat erasable pens. And then I will just mark this so it's lined up like that. And so that way when I line up my next side, I'm lining up based off of those seams so that when we zipper it up, kind of like this one, this one is actually my daughter's costume, but when we zipper it up, the seams are close to being perfect. This one is a little off, but it's fine. Um, because I'm putting in zippers, honestly, at record time. So I feel like this is good. We're like close to being exact. Um, and y'all, when I agreed to do, when I agreed to do these, I thought they were like three or four costumes that just need to be like taken in or something like that. I didn't know that I was going to have 14 costumes to, um, do a lot of editing on, um, again which is absolutely fine just i just didn't know just didn't know Whew. okay so it's 8 50. we've got all of the zippers installed the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm putting one piece of velcro that's it one piece of velcro on the back of the mouse costumes then the mouse costumes are just about finished we just need to put on the velcro and y'all i'm not hand sewing shit onto these mouse costumes or rat costumes they're just going to be getting two pieces of velcro because i can do that real quick with my machine so that is the next step and then after that the mice or the rats are completed donezo then we'll be moving on to the pants and their white pants my serger is powered up and ready to go that's going to be super easy for me to do um so yeah let's get ready to go let's wrap it up wrap it up wrap it up Okay, so plot twist. We don't actually have enough oh, um, Velcro to do all the things that we need to do. I did place an order in Instacart and I was like, Aronica, why don't you just hop up and go to Joann's? My closest Joann's is about 15 to 20 minutes away from me. And you, your girl needs to focus. I gotta be able to get these done. So what I'm gonna do is for these mice costumes, and I was going to put just a small piece of elastic, I mean, not elastic, but a small piece of um, Velcro right at the top so that they could simply just close it and then we have the back closed. Instead, I found that I had this like plier set to put in these here like little buttons. So that's what we're gonna do. I've never used it before, so everything is still in the little bag. But you know what? I really feel like this is going to be the better choice because we've gotta keep this party going. And so I'm going to get started with doing this on the backs of these mice costumes. And then I'm going to go ahead and move on to the mice hats. I do have one strip of the, um, one strip of the Velcro, which I would prefer to use on the hats. Cause I'm like, if I've got to use these pliers on something, it's going to be these here, like little clothing pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that. I read these little directions on the back very simple very easy so let us pray that it is actually that simple and that easy okay update every single one of these mouse costumes is completed we've got i did go ahead and put these snaps on in this area so that these were closed because they didn't have a closure before so now they've got a closure these are done. I put the same snaps on the back of the, um, the like the mouse costumes and all the zippers have been installed. Everything is completed for the mice. So now we're going to move on to the pants, the white pants. And that is, then we're, we're keeping it moving. So my Michael's order should be here soon so that I have the Velcro for those pieces. But yeah, 
where it's 10 o'clock and 10 o'clock now and i really want to be finished by noon so i feel like we're making really good time okay so my order from michael's has come in but y'all let me show you the way that my office is looking right now like i'm in costume <sighs> like wow costumes are everywhere but because my rat costumes or mouse costumes are done we are in the process of going ahead and bundle those up so that that way those are packed up and completely ready to go the next thing to do is to finalize the last bits of these soldier outfits then we're just about finished we do have to do these corsets let me show you the corsets which are beautiful the hard part is that i can't make any permanent alterations to it so this is our corset and we've already they've already started to make some alterations on the back and so now i just kind of have to finish that up i feel like i should be singing it's the final countdown Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo 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 -doo. i am i i do have a hard stop for this project i've got because i do still have to do those photos of me so i've got two one more cut one more um soldiers costume to edit then we're finished with the soldiers costumes and at this point in time we're just um shortening the sleeve length a little bit uh so that they do not go over the the kids fingertips you know to give it a, a nicer and neater appearance and um after this one i literally only have one more to edit and this is a little, it's, it is a little hard because I don't have the kids here. I wasn't able to take measurements. Then these sleeves were kind of all doing crazy things. Um, or I shouldn't say crazy things. They are all kind of, some of them were pre-pinned. Some of them were not, um, like from previous wearers and stuff like that. So we're doing the best that we can with what it is we've got. Um, and honestly, everything just does look way better than it did before. And literally, I feel like um, this is great because this is 14 costumes, y'all. 14 costumes that I have in under 24 hours. I have replaced zippers. I have taken things in. I have done some, you know, very basic mending. Um, and again... We didn't really have very much time to get this done, but we did it. We did it. We're literally on the last costume and and then we're moving on to this. And we're done. And then we're done. So one of the things that I'm really enjoying about um about doing costumes is it's it feels very much so like survival, right? So it's like can you make the cut or not? You know what I mean? Um, the thing that does always like kill me softly is because while I'm not a perfectionist, what I will say is that I do like for things to be my best work. And when you're working in costumes, you are not given a whole lot of time, right? Like it's not like I don't, I don't have like... I've had less than 24 hours to kind of get these costumes together. And so, of course, that means I'm rushing. Um, but in costuming, and this is what I had to learn on my first little, my first job I did, it's not about perfection. It's about getting it done and making sure that everyone has a costume to wear when those curtains go up. And I feel like this is really great in life because... For me, one of the things that is very, very difficult for me is relinquishing control of certain things. And, um, you know, this kind of has forced me to relinquish a little bit of control, um, which I'm not saying is a good thing. I'm not saying is a bad thing. It's, it's just a thing that is. And, um, you know, I'm grateful for the lesson because what if I couldn't, you know, and I ended up missing out on an opportunity simply because I got caught into perfectionism um, or because I didn't want to ask for help or because 
of whatever reason, you know? So I do appreciate uh, what I'm gaining from this experience because I do feel like valuable lessons here, y'all. Um, and I keep having to kind of restitch this because I need for it to go further back. All right, so this is now done. So now we are completely done with our with our um, soldiers. That's it. We're finished with those. The last thing that we've got to do is get these hook and eyes in place. And so with this one, they added this back piece here. And so in essence, what I have to do is move this set of hook and eyes or actually not move i'm gonna have to add a new one diagonal going up so that is what i'm getting ready to work on now the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to take my pen which has the disappearing ink as soon as i can find it i'm going to this is it i'm going to mark the places here where i need for these hook and hook and eyes to go and then i'm going to just use my machine because i do have the option to use my machine for this we're going to knock this out because I do have, again, a hard stop in less than 40 minutes. So, all right, friends, I did it. It is 1215. I'm done sewing all of these costumes. So just to very quickly recap, open up my handy dandy uh, trusty iPad, which has been helping me keep track of all of the things. So according to my edits, I had to fix the zippers on six bodysuits. So that involved me taking out the zippers completely and then replacing them. I had to add the elastics to all of the neck bands for the mice. I needed to fix elastic on one of the mice legs. I added Velcro and hook eye. I actually did not. Instead, I added snaps with my handy dandy tool to the hats and I took in one of the girls' bodysuits. For the soldiers, I had to fix the seams on four pairs of the pants. I also added um, Velcro to the jackets that zippers were broken. I shortened the sleeves on three of them. And then for the corsets, I had to bring the, take them in and add more eyelets. So I did that. I started working at about five o'clock this morning. I did take a break for coffee and it's 12.15 and I'm completely done. The last thing that I have to do is just wrap everything up, like literally pack everything up so it's ready to be put into my trunk. Because when I walk out the house, y'all, I've got to walk out the house. So now what I've got to do is go and get myself together. So thanks so much for joining me for today's episode of Vlogmas, which was an unplanned edition where I worked on some costumes for the Nutcracker because we know that Nutcracker is absolutely peak holiday performances. So definitely in line with the whole vlogmas theme. Now it's time for me to go and get myself together, especially because your girl feels so much better. Um, but that's it for me. I'll see you all tomorrow. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all of the things because y'all, we are doing it. We are doing it big. So anyway, bye-bye.